What's up everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we're going to go over how I added roads to the procedurally generated cities in Unreal Engine 5.3. We'll be using the Polygon City Pack for the tall buildings and the Polygon Town Pack for the houses. Alright, without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to try and keep this one short and sweet. Um, we're going to go over how I added these roads here. So I started off with just the uh, basic system that we went over in the last video. And as you can see here, I'm running these difference nodes against the road path. So how I did the roads was a separate blueprint, uh, added the spine, but the trick here is to add a tag and I put a tag in here and called it path just ignore this code and the roads are their own spline if you can see here just grab one of these and it's just two points I grabbed one point drug dragged it out there and this is what we have for our roads so you can see I have get spline data and then I chose by tag and added the tag we used in the blueprint here. And the important part is going to be your spline sampler, set it to distance, and then the distance increment has to match your static mesh. So in this case we're using the Polygon City uh, road meshes. And these ones are just half, so you need two halves. <clears throat> so I have two different halves. This is one side of the road, this is the other side. You can see both the spline samplers have the distance increment. And then our transform points, I have it set to negative 250 on one axis and rotated 90 degrees. And on the other side of the road, I have it positive 250 and negative 90. And then I spawn my meshes here. I run the difference against the large buildings and then a difference against the smaller buildings. And you can see I have an extra one here. For some reason, I couldn't get it to work without adding this extra difference against the spline path itself. And then I ran it again. So I have against the large buildings, the large against the small buildings, and then the large against the static meshes of the road and then against the houses and then again I ran it against the small houses against the large you can see it connected to these two different ones and then I added my bounds transforms and then our large building static meshes and then for the houses our static meshes here and I have a few different variants uh, there's another element, the um, street lamps I added in here. Um, I ran it on the same spline and I just turned my transform negative uh, 300 so that way the street lights would be on the edge of the road here. Uh, that's basically it. That's how I ran it through. Um, this one's going to be like sidewalks that are spawning within the volume of the large buildings as you can see here and then I have some grass that's spawning uh, kind of sporadically uh, let's see down here that's running off of the difference from the large and the small buildings and this is our result uh, the only thing I couldn't get working I kind of ran out of time was the intersections now this one should be fairly easy to do but for some reason it wasn't cooperating and I just didn't want to keep messing with it. So you have to run your intersection against the roads itself and so that every time uh, your roads collide they they leave that intersection point in between them. Now there's still a lot of work to do to get your city to look perfect up close but at a distance here it looks pretty good. It looks like a normal town with some buildings in there and you can explore it 
um, but you'll you'll end up seeing all the um, the imperfections within the city. All right, that's about it. If you're still watching, thanks for watching. If you have comments, head it down in the comments section. Um, if you want to post what you made, uh, join the Discord. And if you have any questions in there as well, I'd be glad to answer them. All right, peace out, everyone.